YouTubers. I am on my way. Um, let's see, it's a Sunday afternoon, and I'm on my way to meet a gentleman um, who's been cleaning out a house. Um, came across some um, old diecast cars. He sent me a picture and said, uh, "Is this something you'd be interested in?" I've got uh, two photos from him. And I could see for sure uh, that there's several Lesney Matchbox models. Um, it's a mix of a few other things. I'm not real sure what they are, but um, I'm going to go take a look at them today and see if we can make a deal. I just finished up uh, with the gentleman that I met online. And uh, a lot of good stuff. So I've got a box that we're going to go through. As soon as I get home, um, we'll shoot a quick, maybe maybe not so quick, um, little unboxing video, and I'll show you guys what I was able to pick up. I absolutely love, love, love uh, finding entire, complete collections. Uh, something you know that somebody's had sitting in a basement or a box for you know, years and years, and instead of picking them up one at a time on you know an eBay listing or toy shows or something like that even if it's stuff I've already got um, you know I can always have some multiples it's good to, to have a few models you can trade away um, I've got little kids um, and my my two-year-old still loves to play with these cars and you know it's not fair for dad to sit there have a whole collection of all these cars and say, now oh, you can't play with any of them so a lot of times when I pick up these larger groupings if I got some decent cars in there that I want to add to the collection. It's great uh, if I've got other ones that are you know, too far gone, play worn, whatever. Uh, they get to go to my kids, so they they get to play with them, enjoy them, learn to love them just like I do. So as soon as I get home, we'll sit down. We'll shoot a quick unboxing video. So I just got back, and this is what I bought. Um, actually, what's on the box is not what I bought, but what's inside is what I bought. So, let's go through it. A couple things in here I do have already, and a few are things that I've been looking for. So, um, we've got right here the uh, GMC Tipper truck. Um, I just finished a box restoration on one of these. Um, and this actually, I think once I get it cleaned up, maybe in pretty decent shape. A lot of these are just really kind of dirty and tatty. Um, I do think this one is, it looks to be missing the um, seats from the inside. I think this model came with seats. So we'll have to look that up and see exactly which variant it is, but a good find. Um, next up, this was one I grabbed. Um, this is a super fast and I don't collect super fast, but it had the uh, sight hut on it. And I have older uh, Matchbox that do not have this on it. And after I picked this up and was kind of looking at it, I noticed there was something inside. I wasn't sure what it was. So, uh -huh. this, I've got a feeling I'm going to need later for something else that's in here. And I believe this goes on the Ford truck model. Um, which there's actually not one in the box, so that must have been lost some time ago. Um, and they kept this, but I do have one in my collection, um, and I am missing the camper shell for the back, the topper for the back. So um, this was still worth picking up. I've got an original side hut now uh, that I can put with my side hut trucks, and I've got a new camper shell, camper topper for one of my Ford trucks. Um, this tire, I believe, goes with, yeah, this John Deere tractor. Um, I'm just finishing up the videos on a box restoration for this. I've got quite a few of these models, um, but most of mine are missing a, a fair amount of the wheels, and I'm guessing that's why this, <laughs> this one was missing. Um, this has the same problem that a lot of these do, and that's where the, the center hub plastic has shrunk over time. Now the wheels are loose. I do have an idea for how I may 
attempt to try to fix that or correct that. Um, I need to order in a few pieces before I try it out, but um, this might be a model that I tested on. So, also a good find. Got the uh, hay wagon here. Um, I believe this is a number number 40. Um, it has one of the original two gates. Got quite a few of these models, um, some even in box. Um, but anytime I can pick up, this one may just be for parts. The, the paint's not in very good shape, but it's got, you know, the original wheels, the tires, um, and I may have a better model that's missing one of these gates, so still worth grabbing when I find it. Um, got a couple different ambulance models. This is the number three Mercedes, and dome light's in pretty good shape. Back opens up. It's missing the stretcher, of course, they, they always are. Uh, this has the stickers, so I'm guessing this is a little bit later of a model. And this is the Cadillac version, the number 54. Um, also later model, also with stickers, but you see red dome light intact, not broken or scratched or faded off or anything. So, also a good find. Got the Denver Fire Pumper, uh, the Matchbox Series 29. I've got a few of these. This one's not in great shape. Um, this may be a future parts car. Um, you can see we're missing the pipes down that side. Uh, paints pretty well play worn on this one. Do have a somewhat intact dome. This one's a little crunched and worn there on the top, but it's not pushed in, so it may be salvageable. Not not the best model in the box, but you know, I think I paid about two to three dollars a car for this entire collection, so still worth picking up. I've got a couple here of the um, Volkswagens, the number 67 uh, Matchbox Series cars. Notice there's a slight color variation between the two. This one looks a little darker. This one's a little more, I think call it tomato, maybe. Um, this one's actually in very good shape. Dirty, but I think once I get it cleaned up, um, I think I'd call that excellent to maybe even near mint. Um, this one's quite a bit more play-worn. Uh, it's got some scratches, but, you know, complete. Uh, both doors operate. It's got all the hubs on all the wheels. A um, little oxidation on the base there, but overall, pretty good shape, so happy with both of those. I think I only have one of these in my collection, so getting a few more in there kind of bumps me up. So excited about that. This, um, I actually grabbed this one just <laughs> purely for the wheels. Um, I have a few of these models that are in much better shape than this, um, and this even came in a few different colors. And I believe I got a uh, more reddish orange one as well as a yellow one. This is the number 69 tractor shovel. But all of my mint models like this are missing the original tires. So this one, while it's not in great shape, had all of the original tires. So I think, you know, I may look through this, may be donor parts for one of my better models that um, I may push towards a, a restoration. This one, uh, when I started collecting, this is one of my favorite models. Now I've got uh, far too many of them. That's the number 45, the Ford Corsair. Um, it is missing the rowboat that goes on the top, but overall the paint's not in bad shape. I'd say this is probably good to fair condition. Um, and a lot of the other models I have do not have this at all. It's just, just the car, so it's not complete, but it's you know, better than nothing. Um, I do have in one copy of this that's mint in box and actually has this still on the sprue along with the original boat in it. Uh, completely original unpunched uh, condition. So this will be a nice addition with the rest of those. This one I'm very excited about. This is the Mercedes 300 SE number 46. Um, I've got a, a box that is in pretty good shape, 
that uh, I was able to pick up at a reasonable price, and it came without the car. Um, so finding this car, being able to pair it up to the uh, nice conditioned box that I've got, that'll be really, really nice. Excited about that. The police car. Um, I've got a few of these uh, in various states, various conditions, um, and I need to go back and look because I don't know that they all have the steering mechanism. I think some of the other models I have are just uh, pretty straightforward. So I don't know if this is a later version or if there's different numbers. Notice on the bottom it says number 55 or 73. So apparently this base may have been used for more than one model type, but uh, this one seems to be in really good shape. The little springs in the wheels are intact and they snap right back to center. Um, and it's got a almost perfect uh, intact dome. This is a later model that's got the stickers instead of the water water slides or water transfers, but um, you know, again, really dirty. I think once I get this cleaned up, um, it'll look uh, a lot better. And then I'll be able to really see what the value and shape is on that. And then last but not least, I bought a uh, trio of race cars. A um, couple things I'm pretty excited about with these. One, they are all intact. They have all of their wheels and tires. They all have their drivers and they all have stickers. Um, I think some of them may be incorrect or not what I typically find on these models, but um, I think these were actually just included in the box and kids could apply them themselves. So pretty good base, not a lot of oxidation on that one. Dirty, again, and all these need to be cleaned up. These are you know, fresh out the barn, straight out of the box, but um, pretty good condition on that one. Really happy with that find. Um, a blue, I've got a few of the, the blues, and so this will be a nice addition. A little damage on the uh, sticker on the hood, and I believe some of, some of my other blues maybe have a stripe. Um, but the one I'm probably the most excited about is this one. Um, I don't have any models like this. I'm not in this color combination. Oh, I'm dropping my wheels now. Um, but this seems to be in pretty decent shape. Um, you know, like I said, I don't have any this color. Um, and I, I know I don't have any with the number three on them. So I need to do a little more research about this one, see if if it's just a later model or if it's a more difficult to find color and I just haven't come across it yet um, or what. But that is my uh, my collection purchase barn find of the day today. Uh, I'm pretty excited to, to come across this and to get to add these into my collection. Uh, as always, give me a like, uh, put your comments in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the new releases on the channel.